So first of all we'll start off here. Um, this is my little laptop that I use exclusively for uh, visualizations. As you can see it's tiny. That's my hand. I can almost stretch across it. It's a tiny thing. You know a little IBM. A fantastic little kit but exactly perfect for what I want. As you can see here uh, I've got a cable going in. It's actually feeding from my home CD player which I'm going to play from. I've not got the uh, full music set up because I don't want to be blaring it out across the the estate at this time of night. So um, I've got the feed going in to the uh, to the uh, line in at the side. Here's Winamp, just set, and as you can possibly see, I don't know. Let's see if we can zoom in on there. There we go. It says line input. Okay, that's a little plug-in. Okay, and to get it to uh, to read the visuals, uh, you start your visualizer, and then you press the play button. Simple as that. Uh, every now and then it does need a little reset and all you do to reset it um, to get the visuals to respond properly is press the X uh, because some of the uh, visualizations uh, are written uh, pretty rough and they don't um, kick off all the time so, so you can don't have to worry because they change it all the time anyway and to be honest the public pu public wouldn't probably realize if they weren't responding properly anyway um, but if you're a perfectionist uh, it, that's how you do it you just press the X button and it'll reset so there we go that's a laptop. Here's a projector. Um, it's a Sanyo XU47 projector, uh, about 2000 lumen output, which is ample. Uh, the Sanyos do put out some fantastic uh, light uh, for their rating, uh, so it looks a lot more powerful than a, than a 2000 uh, when it's in use. I've had this uh, showing some good visuals in, uh, in broad daylight onto the screen. Uh, but there you go. Uh, I've just got it uh, mounted. If you're wondering how it uh, goes on, as you can see here, possibly there's the uh, little uh, O clamp, uh, one of the circular, uh, you know, the, the 360 degree clamps that we've uh, talked about previously. And uh, if we have a quick look underneath, just drop this down. There we go. You can possibly see. I don't want to move the th video, uh, projector because it's set up for projection. Um, I've got a ceiling bracket that uh, I purchased and I made some alterations. All I did, I took off the ceiling mount and uh, put a bolt through onto the bracket. Simple as that. And uh, you just uh, mount it onto your uh, truss. And last but not least, here is the screen itself. There we go. Let's give it a bit of a tilt. And I'll give you a quick look around underneath as well. Uh, as you can see, there is the uh, the unit itself. That silver bar along the black there uh, is the actual case that it comes in. This little piece here, all that that is the case. Uh, I hope you like the legs, by the way. I forgot to put them away. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, and those uh, legs at the side they just pop out and uh, latch in underneath the unit. So uh, when you pull the screen down. Uh, as I say, it's on hydraulics, so it's quite easy to uh, push up and down. Uh, in fact, I shall demonstrate here. There. there we go. Just one hand. Let's push it down. There we go. It's on hydraulics. So it's as simple as that. Right then, let's show you the visuals in action. Eh? Right then, just to show, or uh, just to prove that this is a, the projection, okay, you're looking at now, I know it's all dark as I turn the lights on, just to show you that, there you go, it is the video projector that uh, you're looking at, you're not looking at a, a monitor here, this is what you get projected on the screen, okay, so, obviously, when you're setting up, you're going to see this on the projector, because uh, that's just the way things work with uh, taking a feed from a laptop, um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to start the video, uh, the visualisations, so off we go, visualisation, start and stop. All right, so there we get it in a windowed uh, position. What the next thing we do is we start the player down here. So that will start ticking away. And next, double click to send it full screen. All right, so there we go. It's now full screen. Obviously, there's no music playing. So let's get some music playing into here. I'm going to put a bit of erasure on. I'm 
So there we go, uh, that's it, in a, whatever, I don't know what to say, uh, there we go, visualisations, uh, run from a laptop, projected onto a screen, and obviously like I say, if you're in a massive room, and you want to project it forward onto a big wall, the further away the better. Uh, I hope you like what you see, um, I think it looks cool, especially when it's uh, all set up behind a rig, um, and I hope you've learned something from this that inspires you on to uh, go in and do something yourself. So. Until next time, practice and enjoy. <laughs>